Well, here at the Tower of David in Jerusalem, uh, we're marking the end of Ramadan, uh, a month of, uh, as we know, fasting, cleansing, spiritual cleansing in the Muslim world. And, well, we have obviously a guest of honor here in Jerusalem, Pak Yaya, the Secretary General of the NU, the second largest Muslim organization in the world. Uh, he has been praised by men of the likes of uh, Richard Dawkins, who happens to be an atheist and skeptic. He considers Pak Yaya to be one of the greatest Muslim leaders alive today, and so does Time Magazine. So here joining me is uh, Pak Yaya. Thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, tell me, this is your first time in Jerusalem? This is my second time. My first time was uh, quite long ago. Uh, but this is the this time I come with a mission. What's your mission this time? We saw some uh, headlines saying that you're here also to call on a two-state solution. Uh, it's not about uh, it's not about two-state solution. I uh, I don't uh, go too uh, practical in this uh, in this matter. I just made I just want to make a call to the world to everybody to embrace rahmah which is uh, uh, which means compassion and caring about others to start a path toward uh, peace and harmony uh, among all the people what's your impression of the city coming from uh, from abroad every time you your second time visiting jerusalem have you seen any changes what are your impressions of the also the connection between peoples here from different faiths in my first uh, visit, I didn't uh, uh, pay attention that much because I was in a group of pilgrims at the time. But uh, in this visit, I really uh, am seeing how people uh, express the great desire for peace here. Unlike a neighboring country, Malaysia, which their passport says you're not allowed to visit Israel, Indonesians are allowed to visit Israel, but there's still also a bit of mistrust regarding visits to Israel. How do you feel, how do you explain your visit uh, to people back at home regarding your visit to the holy city? You see, this uh, uh, relationship between Indonesia and Israel is a problematic, as everybody would see. And I hope that my visit here will serve a breakthrough for a solution. What are you expecting to do tonight regarding the interfaith gathering? What, what's going to be part of the ceremony? Two things. You know, in interfaith uh, gathering, uh, I would love to have a, a discussion with the religious leaders uh, about how we can really function religion as the inspiration to uh, strive for peace for everybody. And the second, the second thing is a great, very important event where many, many people will, will gather here in this place. This is a place where, you know, all religions share the legacy together and people will gather here to sing together, to express uh, the deep uh, uh, desire for peace. And this is very important for the whole world to see and to witness that uh, everybody here, the, the Jews, the Muslims, the uh, Christians, we all want peace. Through the music of Bob Marley. Yes, yes, that's right. And the, uh, the song that we, the, that we will sing together is One Love. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Pak Yaya for this interview, Secretary General of the NU, like I said, the second largest Muslim organization in the world with 60 million followers offering an alternative to Wahhabi Islam, Sunni Islam.